Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Eddie, your cryptocurrency teacher, your seduction instructor, your all time favorite. Hopefully, you're doing good. It is 9 38 March 22nd, 22, 2022. And yeah, so. Thank you for joining me. Please make sure to hit the like button. At least, if you don't hit it now, make sure to hit it at the end of the video. And subscribe now, or do it at the end of the video, if you find this content enjoyable and entertaining, or informative. So, today, so today, we're just gonna browse through Reddit and look at some posts and here's one with Floyd Money Mayweather someone is saying that he's on to the next scam another NFT project so as I mentioned before these cryptos are scams these NFTs these JPEGs that they're <laughs> that they're selling for thousands and millions of dollars they're all scams money launders laundering so there's that and let's see here here's one. I like this one when there are no suckers left to buy your NFT for more than you bought it for, you are the ultimate sucker. Well, generally, that that's true unless it has value. Now, there are NFTs that have value, meaning if you have, like, a non-fungible token is something like a utility where let's say you purchase a movie ticket to see a movie at eight o'clock at seat number you know seat number three or seat number one and you have this ticket now that is a non-fungible item that if it, w it would be it wouldn't matter if it was a digital ticket or a physical ticket that ticket can't be replaced because there's only one seat at eight o'clock for that movie so what i'm saying is that non-fungible tokens can serve a purpose but not in the way that they're being promoted by today's environment you know non-fungible tokens would be more for a a real utility like what i just mentioned a movie ticket or a concert ticket something that can't be replaced because like i just said if you have a movie ticket two movie tickets for seat number one and two for me and my girlfriend to go and if i sell those tickets i can sell those tickets before the show to another couple or somebody else but I can't there's 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 no way for there would be no need for multiple people to buy it that wouldn't be the intent of creating that type of NFT for like a movie ticket okay so NFTs have their their purpose in their place but not for little JPEGs and art and things like that now in this environment here now let me give you another example of uh, an NFT and how it could benefit you so let's say let's change the environment a little bit let's say that there is a browser that everyone downloaded or just say instead of Firefox let's say the next version Firefox 3.0 and to get to use this Firefox 
you had to connect to a Bitcoin wallet or, you know, something like a Bitcoin wallet or an Ethereum wallet. I hate Ethereum, but just say for for an example, you are running your browser and let's say Kanye West drops a new album. To watch his album, you have to pay one cent or 25 cent or a fraction of a cent just to watch his album or his new video. That money can be sent to the artist Kanye West from your wallet within that browser. So what I'm saying is that NFTs do have a place in the right environment. But the current environment, the way that they're in now, they're just, they're just money grabs. And I'll talk about that in my book. And make sure to check out my book, How to Bitcoin, the $1.7 trillion cryptocurrency scam. After reading this book, you will see how millions of people are being scammed by the cryptocurrency industry. Buy it on Amazon. Have a great day.